After pool party rendezvous, so also told to far that you know that you're living the life most men desire for. And Tofa was like, what is it? And Osi replied telling him that you're dating a that beauty queen. That you know queen. the population of men desiring to have beauty queens. <laughs> and at that, Tofa said, well, he counts himself lucky that he's blessed to have Anita. And just then, he lowered his voice telling Osi how difficult it is with this girl. So that even at the party, you're trying to be careful. You're trying to keep dancing with them. Any move with any other girl, they're already sensing something else. The moment you try to socialize with another person, you know, you have to answer a million questions. And also he told him, well, that that shouldn't even be like one of your problem. That you see these girls when it comes to task. Do you see Anita when it comes to task? Do you see how Anita perform with task? That those kind of girls are very rare to come by and you should do everything possible to secure it too. And in affirmation, Tofa replied Osi, telling Osi, of course, that he knows now. He knows uh, he knows how they, are. they don't joke with, you know, getting things done. And now, tell me a few minutes later why Tofa is asking Aneta how much is bride price in their village. <laughs> Tofa. And in fact, Aneta was even like, from where to where. And he said, yeah, he just wants to know how expensive is it. Well, Aneta replied him by telling him, that in their village, you, it depends on your achievements in life. If you're a graduate, uh, it becomes more higher. If you do, if you get your MSc, in fact, the more you do, higher you go in life, the more achievements you badge, the higher your bride price. Hmm. Well, Tofa was just, you know, nodding his head, and Anita turned to ask him, "Why are you asking? Why do you want to know?" And he said, mm, "He just wants to know now. Are you the only one from your village that he's making inquiries?" ahead of time and Anita said well that it's called drunken desires well Tofa said for him is not he knows why he's asking now talking of drunken desires I be alcoholic those desires I don't know what to call it but these are our learned colleagues the barristers in the house <laughs> so after the party they were both in bed and Ozzy was telling Onyeka that honestly after here this friendship will still be there. That in fact, he, he really owe her a lot for the many times in the house that his energy has been in the lowest of low. Still, Onyeka will find a way to come to him, cheer him up, you know, boost him, energize him. That that means a lot to him. That although it might be just your normal life, maybe this is the kind of person you are on a regular, but it wasn't so for him. And at that, he does not take it for granted. In fact, he was saying that, oh, after here, you will, see be, you will still be that one that will call me on the phone, tell me whatever you want to tell me. And I'm like, okay. Baba, you don't start again now. <laughs> you don't start. You know, say, so you know, they had this, my sister. <laughs> well, I was just in my head saying, you don't start. And the next thing, you know, Nyaka started touching Ozzy's head, touching his beard. Telling him, well, I'm glad you're talking. I'm glad you're talking now. Because you look like someone that will bottle a lot of things. I will not really want to express or say whatever they want to say. And I said, okay. You see what I'm talking about? Well, let's just blame today's own on Shayo. It's Shayo-induced talk. So let's cancel tonight's own. I easily get tired of people. Relationship is not really my thing. Honestly, this is just me. I prefer long distance relationship. In fact, I'm just tired. Let me just have speech to myself. Is Biggie's house? Is the house? Uh uh. Not be the same until we want space from Switch. Is the one telling Switch now that she can't sleep alone? No. Oh, well, 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 well. Let me cancel that. Is the drink? Is the drink? Let's blame it on the drink. Because she's actually tipsy. You no. Know? She's not her. She's not her real self. So let's let's just blame this one and alcohol and cancel this one. It doesn't count in this game of things. All thanks to Suj because after the party, Nelly was no longer herself. I guess she had the lot. She drank more than she should, and was even missing her step at some point. 
So you then had to take care of her, take her to the bedroom, make sure she got, you know, she showered, you know, remove her mind, tucked her in. And he was still, you know, she was still demanding that Suj should come stay beside her. But Suj, you know, they joke with his food now. So Suj was like, I want to go get my food. You know, don't worry, I'll still come back. I'll still come back. Let me go get my food. Papa, no, they joke with him belly. If I went, Suj was even eating and now said, oh, I'm full. Lucy was like, eh? <laughs> so you're full. This is the first time I'm hearing you say you're full in this house. <laughs> so the chop sha. Ben advised Cassia to be less aggressive, telling her that it makes it difficult for him to even come closer to her or play with her. Being that he cannot predict her mood, sometimes you're joking with her and the next thing she's going off on you that she finds it difficult to relate with you. And not just see more. That he's telling you this thing because this is how the rest of the housemates also feel about you. But Cassia said no, that the problem is that you guys do not understand me. That at times she might come off that way, but she's still joking. That is the way she jokes. And Ben said no, that the other day, you know, he was trying to do one or two. And the next thing she went off saying, oh, you did crazy, you no know, stuff like that. And Cassia said no, that... She was actually joking. As soon as was passing by, Ben then called to his attention, asking him, what do you think about Cassia? Is she aggressive? Is she, you know? And so just say, affirm to what Ben was saying, telling Cassia that with you, you take things out of portion, that someone might just be joking with you. The next thing, you're already angry. The person just be like, ah, ah, is it this small thing? And Ben then told to Cassia, telling Cassia, you see what I'm talking about? That with you, there is only Kelly Ray that knows your mood or can tell your next move that sometimes he now relies on Kelly Ray to know if you're happy or if you're sad because with your face someone cannot even tell if you're happy or sad that you should try and loosen up a bit and be more cheerful with the housemates. Ben then told Cassia to take this both as an advice, a joke and a feedback from the housemates that she barely even smiled in this house and Cassia was like I do smile just as you guys do not see it. And Ben said, well, it's only Kelly Ray that tells me when uh, you're sad or when you're not. And that's because Kelly Ray is her husband. <laughs> there will be so many surprises after this show too because it's 10 years a joke to you. Well, uh, Cassia then asked Ben, between I and Wani, who we will now say is uh, Hasha. Well, Ben told Cassia that with Wani, they've seen her good and bad side, her angry side, her happy side. You've seen her display the whole rooty, rooty thing. But with you, nobody have really gotten you upset in this house. So they can't even tell what your reaction will be like. But him, and at that, he now knelt with one leg saying that he's even begging. God, I beg, let him not, you know, get you angry because the person might just end up evicting themselves from this house because he knows that you it will be you'll be harsher than Wani because with Wani, uh uh the Wani has been displaying now. They've seen everything about Wani. But you you still they keep your own for cooler. <laughs> you still they keep your skill for cooler. Uh speaking of Cassia and Kelly Ray, hmm, it be like this our mission gets Cassia triggered. Now mission impossible. <laughs> they don't arrive. Uh, <laughs> Because so was that at the pool party. Kelly Ray tightening his boat lips. Anyways, 10 years is no joke. I don't even think anything can get Cassia triggered when it comes to Kelly Ray. For, for a couple that dated for 10 years. Like 10 whole years. Hmm. Well, let's see how it goes with Handy and her plan. On the other hand, Cassia, during dinner with her husband, complained on how she's not really feeling well. That's... She thinks maybe she has low iron, and the husband was asking her if it's the cholesterol or something. I don't even know what it's about, but I know she once complained of, she once said that she has ulcer or other stuff like that. And uh, Kelly Ray said, nothing will happen to you until we leave this house. And I'm here wondering, I thought they do get medical services from Biggie. They should get her properly checked now. After dinner, Cassia still went back to her sewing ahead of tomorrow. These guys are really trying. Imagine complaining of not feeling well and still have to work. Anyways, uh, Victoria, in fact, most of the housemates, they spent some time after the party working ahead of tomorrow. They're really trying. And I saw what uh, Victoria was trying to fix up. These guys are talented. They are creative, very, very creative housemates. Big brother better be lenient tomorrow. Not tomorrow now. 
he will start speaking up the big big grammar in the dictionary the better win this wager well sean asked if they will still have to deal with wager preparation in the last week and tv was like of course you will still have to you know come up with something for your wager presentation and sean now said is the wager not in order to get food for the next week so why would they have to work hard to get food knowing they won't be in the house the upper one now that simply means they won't have to do anything regarding wager in the last week and he can't wait for that time at least they'll just be resting and i'm like guy is it the is it the stress from this one that is making you think of finale already well what's it told tj since you you're saying there'll be wager that is you that will do that one that they'll just be looking at you. you you'll be doing it because who will now eat the food in the next week when everybody will be at home well i like how they we are all talking in the present like seeing themselves in the finale i love that for them meanwhile can we talk about this party that big brother did like he locked the garden for how many days i was thinking maybe they were doing a renovation we'll see something in the garden for where meat you did not bring <laughs> meat pile you did not bring you're just feeding them gas like continue drinking my children just drink and you know <laughs> drink and buy yourself well it's worked for biggie any plan he had in mind actually worked because the housemates gave us a very hot party including chisoba like chisoba danced all through even after the party chisoba was still dancing well let me read your opinion on all the alcoholic induced talks and actions meanwhile this hand this case on double on kelly ray to get cassia's reaction why is she not even doing it it could have been better if she is doing it with maybe suj or tofa i wonder how she assumed that their relationship is stronger than that of double k like if you want to get someone triggered why don't you even okay let's assume you you think that theirs is that strong because you say you tried to dance with them at the party and they didn't give you that green light is that not even the more reason why you should insert yourself there and see if something will, you know, will stop? Because you're looking for a reaction, right? So why don't you go for the ones that you know that the in quotes, you assume they are in love with themselves instead of saying, oh, double K, they are here, they are neither here nor there. So do you think you will get like a reaction from someone you assume that they are neither here nor here? Reaction will come faster from the ones that you said they didn't give you uh, the green lights now when you try to dance and know if you can insert yourself. Well, let me hear your opinion regarding this and what do you think about Onyeka and Ozi's conversation? Or oh, we shouldn't count that one. We will, count, we will blame that one on Shayu, right? Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video and feel free to drop your comments as well. TGIF. Have a good weekend.